Welcome back to All Things Nail, and this is your girl Nail, where you can, and welcome back to my channel, where you can find just a little bit of everything, know just one thing, why follow 100 channels, when you can follow one channel with everything in one place, yes, that is me, so anyway, let's get into this root review of the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 11, y'all know this is one of my favorite shows, along with Married to Medicine and Black Ink Crew. I um, kind of watched these shows religiously, and I debated whether or not to do this review because, as y'all know, a lot of these reality TV shows are scripted, but these are one of the few that is pretty realistic, and something else that prompted me to go on and do the reviews again this year is they are still recording for this show. So let's go on and jump into this review. So let's start out by saying um, prayers for Portia. She has been in the hospital the day that the show, um, which was last Sunday, the day that the show actually aired this premiere, um, the first episode for season 11, she was admitted to the hospital overnight for observation. So I hope she and baby are doing okay. And also I want to say um, congratulations to Kenya, whose baby was born November the 4th, I think it was, uh, which was the day... Uh, of the season one premiere and she went into labor early due to complications so shout out to both of them and i hope both ladies are doing well now this has been a week later today because season um episode two of season 11 comes on today so i hope both ladies are doing okay and um <laughs> i want to say this i am so tickled about nene getting portia the cute rug um and i'm glad both ladies are friends again and I also want to say prayers to Greg. Greg is fighting cancer, and I understand what Nene is going through as I am going through the battle. As all, you all know, y'all probably tired of hearing me say with my dad. So shout out to them because it's a hard struggle, and it's a hard on any family member. And I think out of all of my friends, the only friends that I do know that knows the struggle and how it is is... Um, Diva D06, she's been through it with her father-in-law. Shout out to her. Please continue to pray for she and her family as she lost her father-in-law. Not to, I think it's been what, about a month ago, Diva D06. Almost two, maybe. Uh, and I want to continue to keep them in, in uh, our prayers because it's just such a hard thing to go to. But anyway, so let's start out with Portia. Portia is living her best life. She was looking gorgeous. She is now with um, Dennis McKinley. And she's been with him for five months. And he is the owner of the Hot Dog Factory. And they went out to look at rings, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but that 10 carat ring, they looked that baby. <laughs> My hand would have been like, somebody hold it up, please. <laughs> what? 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 Huh? <laughs> I don't <laughs> greet everybody like this. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know why people hating on Portia. Child, I don't know if the guy is no good or ain't no good. Honey, they look good together. At least he is doing for and providing. Uh, y'all went around and drugged the girl for having a black African prince. He ain't no black African prince. And y'all still dragging her. Y'all still trying to find a reason to be negative. Y'all still trying to find a reason for her not to be happy. Y'all go on, go on and say about your own life. Let Portia be her and let whatever go happen, happen. Let it, why it's good, let her be happy. Then when it comes to whatever end or if it's going to be miserable, then y'all be worried about it. But anyway, um, she defensive about her new man. I, you can't, can you blame me? She finally got one that, that showered her with attention and she hadn't been happy on this level since before she got married to Cordell, whatever his name was. So let her be. And she don't want to hear no negativity. That's for sure. But you know how it is. But I will say this, Portia, you don't mind telling other people stuff about their man. So embrace what people have to say about yours. Hear me now. So Portia inviting the people to Miami um, to surprise Nene because Nene has a um, show down there for her comedy or whatever. And since she's going to be there for her birthday party with her man, she decided to just have all the ladies down to surprise Nene and to support her because she's been so down um with Greg's illness and worried about Greg and they just want to do something kind of of course she want to do something to kind of lift her spirits up so she gonna invite all the women down and so she decides to call Candy but it, it went well and you know 
I think the joke she made uh, when she called Candy was that it was just going to be um, she and Candy that it went over well. But anyway, all the ladies are going to go. So that's awesome. So then it's flying Miss Portia down on the private flight to Miami, honey. When Portia came down the stairs with that white on and that red hair, if y'all say Portia wasn't looking good, you lying and you hating. Portia was looking good in that white and she was wearing this red hair and she was slaying. Yeah, she was slaying. Like I said, if you say she wasn't, then you lying and you jealous. Cause I, I ain't got no problem in me, honey. She looked good. And she was doing it, honey. So anyway, Nene needs to get Greg a pill organizer, baby. That's what I got for my dad. Because, baby, that whole basket of pills is too confusing. You need a couple of pill organizers. And then you need to label the bottom of each pill organizer and say, you know, these is day and night pills. These is lunchtime pills. Girl, you're going to have to get it together. Get your little alarm clock. Get the pill organizer with the little time clock on there. Because, baby. But like I said before, I understand how she feels. Don't, you know... They didn't. Uh, I understand how she feel when she when Greg keeps saying that he don't have a colon and all this kind of stuff. And like Nene said, they didn't take your colon. They just had to cut a portion of it out and all that kind of stuff. Because how he's saying it, I understand how what Greg is saying. He's saying it because he for him he has to say that that way for his mind to comprehend that. He don't have a portion of a body part anymore, and that's how he has to come to terms with it. But at the same time, Nene's saying don't say it like that because for her and, and maybe for his child or something, that's harder for them to accept because it's just harsh how he's saying it. But for some cancer patients, it's just easy for them to accept it, accept it that way because that's my dad's mentality and some people's just mentality toward it is easy to accept it now and just say it the harsh way than to keep um sugar coating but then after he says it like that i'm like nini i just go in another room and cry to myself so they don't see it but then i you know so i can come out and act like i'm okay and i'm a strong trooper and i feel like that's what nini has been doing <laughs> but when greg broke down and cried i couldn't hardly take it but I am glad they called, and I hope he remains cancer-free, and I hope that he is on the mend and he gets gets well soon, and he becomes he healthy and happier. This whole process I went through with my dad, I'm now in classes, and I will be certified to help cancer patients with their meal plans become back healthy again and to rehabilitate, rehabilitate their bodies and become strong, and I like, like, I'm in school for that. So, um, not only will I, I be able to help my dad, I'll be able to help other people too. So, I can't wait to graduate from that. Let's get on to Miss Cynthia over here at Lake Bailey. Baby, what happened to Will? Baby, I guess it didn't go well after that little show they left out of <laughs> with, uh, when Portia and everybody told her that Will, um, is Portia and Eva told her Will was up to no good. Something must have came to that. Because next thing we know, Will done got the boot and she with Mike Hill. Yeah, she with Mike now. And they've been dating for three months. But everything been looking good, going good. Uh, she she grown and sexy. Um, and it, that's what she for. She said, uh, Cynthia said by, uh, I don't know, but anyway, Eve. Let's get on to Eva. That's what my mindset is going, Eva. So now that uh, the baby, uh, what, two months old? She had her baby. She two months old. The baby to me looked just like his daddy. And she had a pretty family. They show her in the family portrait, and they looking all cute and everything. But she, that's what I was going to say. She did try to say Shay Cynthia by saying the difference in their models is by uh, however many years. What did she say? Something about like 12 years or something like that. Yeah, Cynthia is for the grown and sexy baby. When Cynthia model, it's for the mature adults. It's for a whole um, age group. And why Eva talking, baby, you getting on a little up in the tooth too. So your modeling is kind of dwindling on down towards uh, the age group. Because you're not in the 18 
to 25 year old bracket. You barely hanging on to that bracket. You actually done dropped down to about the 30 year old bracket. So while you talking and see Cynthia, baby, she's still running with the 30 year old. So I don't know why you trying to shade Cynthia. And I don't know what your big deal is with Cynthia and why you want to, I'm gonna say be jealous. Because I, I guess we're going to have to watch the season to see what has Cynthia done for you that you want to shade her. Because, baby, she is a seasoned vet. Cynthia was in the game probably before you knew what the game was. So, I mean, why would you want to shade her? Yeah, I, I don't understand. Honey, I've seen C uh, Cynthia's in magazines that you have yet to grace the cover of, uh, Motley. So, I mean, just because she went out there with a, her own reality TV show don't mean she's any less than a model of you. She has earned where she is. So, don't be disrespectful. That's the problem with young people today. They want to be disrespectful. Honey, stay in your lane. Don't be disrespectful. So, Portia and Nene, they had their little towel. And when I say Portia was wearing her, that little two-piece two um, tie-dye outfit, <laughs> what Nene said, how you going to put it in the oven? I'm going to tell you, if I had Portia shaped baby, I would have that outfit and then some. And I think it's so sweet that Nene got Portia that rug. I talked to y'all about that. But anyway, Nene opened a new store um, in Miami called Swagalicious. And I can't wait to see the website, see what she got in there. Because Nene has some um, nice clothes on QVC, baby. And I would support Nene. But anyway, I would um really like to see some of that stuff. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if she's going to have anything like she had Portia on with that jiggly booty. But honey, I, I need to find something sexy. I'm down to quite a few pounds now i'm down with 15 pounds now honey i want to i might need some eventually with with something sexy so nene i'm gonna be checking out your page let's see i'm glad they uh showed uh a bunch of positive stuff this season um and i'm glad that they showed nene and portia in a positive light and i'm glad they showing more positive things and i'm glad they showed some adult stuff like um with nene and portia showing that you can move on it it don't you don't have to sit up there and hold a grudge and be all hateful and have all that hate in your heart and all of that stuff that you can actually move on and you know reform a friendship and be happy with each other ain't no need to sitting back hating and just holding grudges and i'm glad they showing uh, Nene and Portia have done it. I'm sure I'm glad they show that you can forgive. You may not be able to forget, but you can mend and heal and move on. And I'm just so glad that they showed that with um, Nene and Portia. Y'all let stay in mad, honey. They don't do number short. They take years off your life all the time. You for every I can't remember how this, how they said it is when I took psychology classes because for every. Um, so much time you stay mad, you take off like three years from your life. Girl, by the candy gonna have a short life because she stay mad at everything. If the wind blowed and she didn't want it to, it didn't mess up one strand of hair, baby. She mad for six years. So hell, she done took off 20 years of her life. Candy gonna die at uh, 45 and she's still trying to have kids. So she better think about that when she holding all these grudges and staying mad and I have, have all this hatefulness in her heart. But anyway, so while we own the candy, let's get on this. Rally done lost 52 pounds. It's been said she on that same she did that same liquid diet that Candy did and then that Mama Joyce did and then now that Riley did it. I don't know which diet she did. All I know is she looked good and I'm proud and I'm happy for her because to me she needed it to be more confident within herself. And she looks fabulous and she has her own little uh YouTube page now that she be doing stuff on and you know, she looks good and I, I'm just happy for her. Um, but at, at Riley didn't have no issue <laughs> telling Candy, baby, leave, you can leave them eggs on ice. You don't need no more kids. And Don wants to know, they're like, oh, but this is just a joke. So, I mean, baby, it wasn't no joke. Can you see how deflated Candy looked? <laughs> oh, <laughs> when he said that. Like, it, but it wasn't no joke. It was an opening to the conversation to tell them that she want to have another baby and that that's what she about to do. So, they might as well get ready. Riley told them having parents that are there and active in their lives is way more important than money. When Todd, when Todd tried to uh, 
justify them not being there. Say, well, for y'all to have that lifestyle, some sometimes you have to work. No, baby. Them kids didn't ask for that lifestyle. Y'all wanted that lifestyle, so that's how y'all working. And Riley just blew y'all out the water when she said, baby, having my parents is more important than the money any day. I'm appreciative for my I'm appreciative of my lifestyle, but the lifestyle wasn't necessary. I have it and I'm thankful for it and it's grateful and all, but if I didn't have it, it would have been more important to me to have my parents. And the both of the girls, the girls are always like, yeah, we really like our parents more. So, Ty, boom, pucka, boom, boom, that shut y'all up real quick. So, moving on. So, then Candy has the soul, that Soul Train Music Award event when she getting honored with like the highest honor you can get up for being like a soul writer and all of this kind of stuff. And, of course, she want her whole entire family there, including Asia. But I didn't see Mama Joyce, honey. She was probably sitting down because she, when it comes to events like that, you know, she's trying to be cute. If she was there, she gonna be trying to be cute. She wouldn't be trying to hold no baby. But, anyway, that, I'm with Don one. It's, that was, it's no place for a baby. The baby was tired. He was cranky. He wanted his mama. He was ready to go to sleep. And this is what they keep trying to get Candy to comprehend. You want this life, but that life is not for no baby. But yet you want to have a couple of more kids. Baby, uh-uh. Make up your life what you want to do. Either you want to uh, keep working, be a workaholic and a mongrel, or either you want to be a, uh, be a mom and have all these kids. But right now, you ain't, you can't be doing both of them. And this is my thing. If Candy want to have all them kids, I don't see no problem with Candy having all them kids. But she needs to hire nannies. She needs to hire two nannies. If she going to have more kids, if she need to have, each kid need to have their own nanny. She better pull a Beyonce. Each kid going to have to have their own nanny. If she got three kids, she need a minimum of two nannies. Because that's not fair to Don Juan. That's what that's not Don Juan's job is to be a nanny. He's supposed to be out there doing the networking, seeing about stuff, taking care of stuff on his regular job. No, he he being a nanny. And I'm gonna be be honest with you. I think Don Juan loves Ace to death, but I really feel like Don Juan wanted to be doing what he normally do at them events, which is sitting up, posting up, talking about people, schmoozing, um, our candy celebrity. Yeah, that's what he normally do, and that's what I think he, he was trying to do. And uh, not be babysitting because the baby wasn't trying to go to sleep without his his uh, mama. He was sounding a little uh, irritated. But anyway, Candy gonna have to hire some nannies. That's all it is too. And like I said, I support her having more kids. And if that's her, what she want to do, it's her right to have. So I feel like Candy has waited late. She finally got a man she can actually have these kids with. And she done waited late to do it. But if she going to do it at this late in age, she going to have to have nannies. And she cannot expect everybody because she want kids. Everybody else to stop her life for her dream while she keep on going doing what it is that she want to do. So let's get on to this trip. So Portia done went off. Uh with Dennis on this romantic trip. Y'all, I think he was so romantic. I don't care what y'all say. I think it was really romantic. But this is my thing. When she started telling Dennis about the ladies, and then she started running through, through the names of the ladies, and then when she gets down to do he know candy, this mofo get quiet as a church mouse. And then she started asking questions and stuff. Girl, all of a sudden, he like, you can't talk no more. You can't say nothing no more or nothing. And she just keep on asking questions and whatnot. And then he he finally was like, oh, yeah, I eat an old lady game from time to time. Uh, once or twice a week here and there. And then Portia like, we've been together five months. You ain't never mentioned old lady game. We ain't never went to eat an old lady game. You ain't mentioned it. You don't talk about it, discuss it. We don't go nowhere near that. Hmm. So I can't wait to see how this is going to unfold because that let me know right there that something more going to come to this. So apparently he probably been over there at old lady game with some other lady and Candy probably done seen him there. So I'm thinking this is where it's going to come in that Candy knows something about his business or he done tried to talk to Candy. It's going to be something more to it because you know Candy like having the tea and she like having all the gossip. So you know she's going to run get on the phone and call Don Juan and Carmen and they going to um, get this started because they like keeping ish going. So anyway... So, I'm ready for this drama to unfold. But anyway, so, the room laid out, and uh, Portia had been expecting for him to propose. I pretty much well figured he was going to propose, but it was real cute. And 
<laughs> when she ran over to that mirror, <laughs> then went and sit down on that bed. But it went off right that time out to be continued. So we got to watch tonight and see what the to be continued is. But anyway, y'all, stay tuned tonight. I'll be back with the next review. Since people requested for me to do it, shout out to my Instagram, my Facebook, and all my friends and family that wanted this review. I'm giving it to you. Y'all best be leaving me some thumbs up. And y'all better come in below. But anyway, y'all best give me y'all views if y'all don't do nothing else. I love y'all. Hugs and kisses and lots of love always. Like, share, comment below, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See y'all in a few minutes. Love you.